There are fresh questions over the Royal Navy's new fighter jets. Leaked documents from the Pentagon say the Joint Strike Fighter has a design flaw, which means the arrestor hook used during landing is in the wrong place. Kaya Lark reports. The Sunday Times is reporting that leaked papers from the Pentagon reveal the new Joint Strike Fighter cannot land on aircraft carriers. According to the document, a design flaw means the arrestor hook on the Harrier replacement is too close to the wheels. It's supposed to effectively catch the aircraft when it lands, stopping it overshooting and ending up in the sea. The report says eight simulated landings have failed, but some defence analysts are dismissing it. A, they're simulated, and that's the whole point of simulation. If it now has to readjust the positioning of the hook, well, fine, that's what testing is all about. So if you move it back a foot here or whatever, that doesn't surprise me. That's what happens in a testing environment. But the idea somehow that people don't know how to fit an arrestor hook onto an aeroplane is it, just bizarre. The report also suggests that the aircraft won't be able to fire the British ASRAM air-to-air -air missiles. An MOD spokesman says the MOD's plans remain on track to have a new carrier strike capability from around 2020. We are taking delivery of our first joint strike fighters for test and evaluation purposes this year, they say, and are committed to purchasing the carrier variant of these jets. But Andrew believes there are other more important problems with the JSF. The cost is going up and of course we all know that even the Americans can't afford a cost increase and the UK certainly can't. So we're in the position soon where I suspect customers are going to be asked to do without something um, and maybe eventually one of the types will actually go off the edge. The B for example might actually have to be scrapped. Defence firm Lockheed Martin says design changes are being made but the project remains on schedule to be delivered in 2018. Kyle Ark, Forces News.